In this video I'm going to talk about the uh, static content or uh, better or newly called hero scenes. I will talk about all of them and uh, explain what uh, each look like and what they uh, display. Now if you're wondering why st the name static content or why the uh, the hero scenes well hero scenes are uh, trendy uh, name used in modern uh, web design while static content was the name uh, added uh, for these types of uh, elements back in the previous uh, versions so um, basically this these elements are neither uh, sliders they're neither uh, subheaders they're not uh, sections they're just blocks of different content with uh, uh, nice uh, nice options and nice uh, layouts so moving on in this video I'm going to talk about the hero scene uh, simple boxes and as you can see here we have uh, three boxes with a text uh, with the title text and an icon and a bigger title at uh, the top I'm going to add this page with a page builder and I'm going to hide the header because I want to gain access to this option bar and if we take a look at the options we have an element height you can specify specify whatever uh, height you want I will make it a bit smaller as you can see now it's smaller and you can enable a full screen uh, layout for this I have to publish the page and uh, refresh it so I'm just going to do this so yeah as you can see it's full screen I'm going back to the options and disable it as you can see if I disable the full screen the I can edit again the height and we have the element scrolling effect if uh, if you if you notice there's a fading effect of the of the content of this uh, this element so basically that's what it does it also moves the element around anyway you you can just scroll and you'll see uh, the difference uh, immediately you can choose the effect of the uh, parallax uh, scrolling effect and now moving forward uh, you can change the uh, the title of the uh, of the element and as you can see here i added some uh, span uh, classes to uh, to have it a bit more custom for example this is a thin font uh, font weight this is a semi bold font weight and you can see in this example I used uh, spans because they're in line and they can uh, uh, flawlessly support these uh, type of font weight uh, preset classes so we have a font weight thin, font weight semi bold and we have a shortcut right here which will display a tooltip uh, with the placement on top no border and with the title of highly premium uh, actually text around the premium uh, word so I'm just going to close this uh, this element and hover the actually I have to publish the page and I'm going to view the page as you can see the tooltip has appeared and back to the page builder we can also edit the boxes so as you can see uh, an icon is added as an image as a SVG uh, image actually you can add the description and the title we can support up to three boxes and uh, that's about it 
and lastly we have uh, the uh, background options now in case you're uh, sorry uh, the thing is that um, we have a video uh, recorded exactly for the background and styles options because um, uh, actually th this background and style options is uh, used heavily in the in the theme is very common and we made a video which explains better all these options and what they do and how to customize them so for the moment I will skip this one and if you want to see more about the background and style options just uh, click on the uh, just look for the background uh, options uh, for elements video so that's about it with the static content boxes options um, you can find the element just by searching static content you can see them listed here let me just ah, yeah uh, let me as you can see um, I just searched for static and all the static content um, elements has a, have appeared and the boxes it's actually the first and you can simply drag it and you can populate with the uh, content so that's about it for this element if you have any questions feel free to ask and uh, also if you have troubles with the element again uh, subscribe to the support forums and my colleagues will assist you there so thanks for watching and see you in the next one